The D3 Max process consists of five primary process steps. The upper portion of the diagram is a dry mill. You can see once the whole stillage comes out of the distillation system, it goes through a decanter and the wet cake is then conveyed to the start of the D3 Max process. Starting with the day tank, sulfuric acid is mixed with the wet cake, which then flows through the pretreatment reactor. The material is heated and held for about 5 to 10 minutes, and then it is flashed into a flash tank. From there, it is pumped into the combination hydrolysis and fermentation tanks. When the material first enters the hydrolysis fermentation tanks, we add the enzymes where the enzymatic hydrolysis takes place. After the appropriate amount of time at the hydrolysis temperature, we lower the temperature and then pitch the yeast in the same tank and fermentation takes place. The product of fermentation is beer, which is then pumped to the beer well. As an option, the distillation system can be replaced with a single beer column and the beer overhead, routed to a White Fox ethanol recovery system where 200 proof alcohol is produced. The beer column bottoms from the D3MAX plant goes through a decanter, which gives you a thin stillage stream and high-protein wet cake stream. The wet cake becomes the new high-protein animal feed co-product for the plant. To learn more about the D3MAX process or the rates on return, visit www.d3maxllc.com or contact us at 701-738-4924.